This one comes to us via text and it says, I know God is wonderfully and awesomely perfect, holy and good. But I was wondering what your interpretation of Isaiah 45, 7 would be. It does say that God created evil. And I am just curious as to what your take on that is. So Isaiah 45, 7, and they're wondering what is, what is our take on this? What does the Bible say? How do we interpret this? Okay, so Isaiah 45, 7, let me read it. It says, this is God speaking. He says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create calamity. I, the Lord, do all these things. And this, um, what this person is referring to is that part where it says, I create calamity. Mm. The word there in Hebrew is the word ra, which means evil. Calamity can be translated as, you know, several different things, but that's really what it's referring to. It is, um, just to get a little technical, it is in the participle. So it's an active verb. But it doesn't necessarily mean that this is talking about um, something that happened in the past. This is talking about something that God does actively. Okay. So what this is really saying is that God makes peace or he gives peace. And then he also sometimes creates calamity. And this is not talking about the ontological issue of evil as in God is the author of evil, but rather that there are times when God has to deal with injustice. Mm. And so when he deals with injustice, he will actively just reach down and do something. Mm. And that's what this is saying. It's calling calamity because God is actually doing something, right? And sometimes I like it. I, I love this analogy. My dad always taught it as, you know, he would always say like, <laughs> like sin and evil is like a cancer. And it's like a surgeon coming in and just taking it out, right? And mm. this is what God sometimes has to do. He has to come and remove it. Wow. Wow. And even in his good way of doing this, it creates that calamity. Mm. I really appreciate that. In the, in the Gospels, Jesus Christ tells a story in um, Matthew chapter 13 um, of the parable of the sower. And he tells this parable of this man who goes out and sows all this good <laughs> seed. But then in the middle of the night, his enemy comes in and he sows bad seed. And so the, the, the beautiful harvest and the, the weeds grow together. And, and the servants of this landowner sees this and says, what, what is this? You, you planted good seed. Why all the bad seed? And in verse 28, uh, he answers, and he said to them, an enemy has done this. Yes. And the point that Jesus is making is that oftentimes God is given the credit for the bad things, for the evil. Yes. Yeah. And Jesus is telling them, no, it is not God who has done or created or caused the evil. It is the enemy, the devil, or Lucifer hmm. that has caused yes. it. Wow, great, great. We have to remember that, that the enemy can also cause that. And, you know, we sometimes blame God. 